In this movie, we are going to look at block and inline elements of HTML. Hello there, and how are you? My name is Mohindo Mubarak, and I'm your tutor in this course. So, every HTML element has a default display value, depending on what type of element it is. There are two display values. The first one is called block, and the other one is called inline. So an HTML element will either display in block or in inline type of way of displaying. So a block element always starts, I mean always starts on a new line. I repeat, a block element will always start on a new line. That's the definition of a block element. And a block level element always takes up the full width of available, uh, the full width available. It stretches out to the left and the right as far as it, it it can. So that is the definition of what of a block element. So it will spend with hundred percent of the container that it is in. That is the meaning of what of a block element. A block level element has a top and a bottom margin, whereas an inline element does not have those margins. Please take notes of those definitions they're important you should understand what they mean i'll repeat for the last time a block element will have what a top and bottom margin but for the inline element you cannot define their top and bottom margins so what is an inline element an inline element does not start on a new line and an inline element always i mean only takes up as much with i mean <laughs> all always takes up as much width as necessary so the minimum width that an inline element can take is the one that it will take so it does not spend 100 percent of the width of the container that it contains so an inline element will not create a new line but a block element will create a what it will create a new line so let's look at different block elements that we can have in what in html block and inline elements so I will come here and create a new file and then I'm going to call it number 19 give underscore block and inline elements okay so an example of block element first create here what um, container I mean the HTML structure and then come here and add the block element so we have a tag called div and the div is a block element so div we use it to define we use it to define um, space or we use to define <laughs> i repeat we use div to define a certain section it does not appear on what on um, the website or on the web page but we use it to define a certain what a certain section where the rules should start and where they should end and a div or a division is a what is an is a block element so to create this one just simply write div, write div like this one you can say this is single block block element so this div it will not appear and I've, as i've said it will just be used to demarcate or to allocate uh we'll use it to allocate a certain section that you may want to imply to, to apply certain rules of css or whatever so use what we use a div so it's a division and it's a what is a block element meaning it's going to begin to spend 100 percent of a section so let's go ahead and see what we've done so i'll come here and press ctrl o and then come and open this 19 and refresh you can see this is single block element let us create another block element for example we create another div okay here yeah, like this this is another single block element come and refresh you see it opens a new line let us try to force them to be on a new line on a single line and we see so I'll come there and put it there put that there put that there that there save save come and refresh you can see this is a single 
line block element so you see uh, sorry i deleted the first one sorry sorry okay, i want them to be on the same line you see remove those entering spaces so all of them they're on the same line right but as long as they're in div they'll always start on a new line and they'll always spend 100 percent uh, so to see to show that it spends 100 percent of the width so you can just simply put here style and give it some background color of blue violet maybe and then also come and give this second one also background color of maybe purple ah, come and refresh can you see they're spending a hundred percent hundred percent so you cannot add here uh, something else unless you specify some rules so that is what is meant by block element so let me mention for you the list of block elements so here in the list of block elements you have address you have article you have aside block quote canvas dd which is descriptive this detail de description detail we have a div we have a dl tag a dt tag and field and so many others i'll give you a link that will give take you to the details of uh this of block elements that spends 100 percent of the width so we have another type of elements which you call inline element so inline element for them they'll spend as minimum space as possible so we have inline element called span so if you want to target something uh without changing its uh, i mean while it is without changing its shape or while it is remaining the same line we surround it with what with a span tag okay so i can copy this text and maybe you can say this is a single in line element and you can say this is another single inline element so let us see, see these are in line let's put here some hr to separate the two okay so these are blocks these are in line so let us see the difference so in line elements you can see for them they are always in same line as long as you don't break them they will always be in same line where the first one stops is where the second one stops on the same line so if you come here and give them maybe some background color just come and write here some style and see what is really meant by what you're talking about put here some style and give some background color maybe give it blue and then come here and give some style give some background color and give this one maybe red so come and refresh so you can see where another one stops is where another one starts immediately but for this one it spends 100 percent so these are what we call inline element and these are what we call block elements which spends 100 percent so example of a block element we have a div another example of inline element we have a span tag okay so this span tag it will take the actions on a content that is surrounds it and that's that it surrounds and a block element will do the same but they don't have any appearance in the website so other inline elements we have the anchor tag which is the a tag the a a b b r tag the b tag the b the br tag the button tag the site tag the code tag and others i'll give a link that will take you to a list of other inline elements so every element that we have talked about or that is in html it is presented in one of the two ways it is either a block element or an inline element and you have known the definition of what you meant by block element with 100 percent an inline element where another one stops is where another one starts in the same width so all the html elements either with i mean it's either inline or block so i hope you've understood that ah, so when you're dealing with any html element you should be able to determine whether it's an inline element or a block element okay so with that let us meet in the next video